Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Mass is here with you, and today I'm going to do some problems on geometric probability. So let's take a look. This should be a very quick video. We're going to do about four problems here, and we'll look at geometric probability. So let's get going here. All right, so I've got some problems here that are, let me tilt the screen here, geometric probability problems. So the geometric probability happens when we're looking for our first success on our nth trial. So first success, so the keywords we're looking are first, uh, maybe before, um, and the formula we're going to use is the probability of success times the, um, let me write it this way, the probability of failure, which is 1 minus p, raised to k minus 1, which is the number of failures, times the probability of success. And that's just because here's what's happening, guys. We're going to have fail, 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 finally succeed. Fail, fail, succeed. Fail, fail. So we just got to take a look at the problems. They're really not that bad. We just got to kind of read them out to ourselves. So suppose an archer can hit a bullseye 70% of the time. So this is P. P is 70%. Assume that each shot is independent. We need an independent in order for this to be geometric. What is the probability that her first bullseye, her first bullseye, so there's the key there. What's the probability that her first bullseye comes on the third arrow? So we're looking for a uh, success on the third shot. So that means she's going to miss, miss, make. Miss, miss, make. Okay, miss, miss, make. So we're going to write that in the geometric form, 0 0.30 squared times 0 0.70. And we're going to calculate put that in the calculator and we're going to get 0 0.063. All right, does that kind of make sense? Let's take a look at the same sort of situation. What is the probability that our first bullseye is on the fifth arrow? So miss, 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 four misses, then finally she makes it. So four misses, 0.3 to the fourth times a finally a make, and that's going to be 0 0.00567. All right, so let's take a look at something just a little bit different. What is the probability that our first bullseye is before her fifth arrow fifth arrow so before her fifth arrow means she can she can hit it on the first arrow all right or she can hit it on the second arrow that means she's going to miss and then make or anytime we have an or we add or she can hit it on the third arrow so that means she's going to miss two and then make one or she can hit it on the fourth arrow, and that would still be before her fifth arrow. And then we would add those all together, and we're going to get 0.9919. Okay, so that's a little bit different of a geometric one. All right, suppose she makes three bullseyes in a row. What's the probability that her next bullseye will be on her fifth arrow? So let's think about this. She makes three bullseyes in a row. What's the probability that her next bullseye will be on the fifth? So that means... She's already made three, so she's not going to make the fourth, and she's going to make the fifth. Now, here's a tricky one. This one was similar to one that came up on an AP, uh, statistics AP exam a few years back. And the fact that she makes the first three has no bearing because of independence on whether or not she makes the next two. So we don't, really, we don't need to do 0.7 to the third. We already know she makes the first three, so this is kind of just extra information. We just really need to know that what's the probably she makes her next bullseye will be on uh, the fifth one, which means she's going to miss the next one, which is her fourth shot, and then she's going to make her fifth one. All right, so then we're going to get 0.21 for our answer for this one, so not as bad. How many arrows do we expect her to use before she makes her first bullseye? So we're wanting to know what is the average number that she's going to have to shoot, like the arrows, until, all right, until she makes her first one. So that is a geometric, and the mean for a geometric is 1 over P. So we're going to do 1 over 0.7, the probability of success, and we're going to get 1.43. All right, so these are just uh, some straightforward here geometric probability problems. Hopefully that made sense to you. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm Asis Math. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later, guys. Bye.